Welcome back to LeBron Watch, Paige Demacos, Jamie Eisner. I brought him back to talk about the latest and greatest in the LeBron James Watch. So the newest information we have is Shaq speculating on the decision process of LeBron James and comparing it to himself. And we'll you'll see the full comments up on full screen. But what's happening here is he's he's saying he's relating it to himself. Okay, which right here. Okay, relating it to himself. That's. This is a completely unrelated topic, Shaq. No offense, you're not in the GOAT conversation. So, Jamie, I'll let you go first. What are your reactions to this conversation that Shaq's having and what he thinks about LeBron? This. This yeah. thinky face. That, that, you know, I thought about it and I really tried my best to look at this and say, I think Shaq makes sense here. Problem is, he doesn't. This is my reaction to this. this is, um, nobody was comparing Shaq to Michael Jordan. Yeah. LeBron James, from the second he came out of high school, was compared to Michael Jordan. Everything that surrounds this LeBron James narrative, this debate that we hear all the time, is how many rings he has, how many finals losses he has, and compared that to Michael Jordan. So yes, it is about rings for LeBron James. It's always been about rings for LeBron James. That is the catalyst for the Big Three Miami. That was the big story when he went back to Cleveland. It's the big story now when he's gonna leave and go somewhere else. It's always about the rings for LeBron. Yes, and I, I would say if LeBron leaves, if he's leaving Cleveland, he's not leaving for any other purpose other than to win more titles. And I don't see a way in which he stays in Cleveland, which is why Shaq, you're getting the math face, dude, because I just think that this doesn't this doesn't have any correlation to how LeBron's feeling, and that's really a lot of the speculation that's happening right now. I just feel like we should throw out the window because it doesn't really have any impact on what LeBron feels. But we are going to go to our favorite part, the wall, and see how the, the ratings have changed. All right, we're back here at the wall. Jamie, let's drop it and go. We have new odds and we have Jamie hands. So let's go to the back Vegas. Back by popular demand. <laughs> back by popular demand. Let's go to the Vegas odds, which have changed. Lakers still number one, but they're not feeling quite as confident now. They are barely an odds on favorite. Uh, Cleveland, Philadelphia tied right now, nine to two odds. Houston, seven to one. Boston, 10 to one. And as you saw, Spurs nowhere to be found. Yeah, they're off the board. They've officially made their way to no man's land over here because they're not on our ratings and they're not on Vegas's ratings. So we're staying with the Lake Show mm -hmm. up top because I still think as long as we have speculation that Kawhi Leonard is going to go here and Paul George is going to go here, it makes a lot of sense for LeBron. This is still the favorite, I think, from a from an odds on standpoint, from our opinion. So we're leaving that number two. Philadelphia, I would say, tied right here with the Rockets. And although Cleveland has moved its way up on Vegas, we're out on LeBron James to Cleveland because guess what? LeBron does care about rings. Yes, he does always care. Has, always will. Exactly. So Shaq, we're throwing your clue and we're throwing it right out. But if you guys believe what Shaq had to say and you guys are buying into it, hit the reply button. Let us know where you think LeBron James is going.